Hello everyone. We are up here on the farm. I got a few things to do up here today. And once again, we're dealing with brutal heat. I got to switch a few SD cards and some trail cameras. And I got to get a few things from the cabin for this uh, camping trip this weekend. And while I'm up here, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Okay, so we have arrived at trail camera number one. This was a little food plot I did for turkey season that is uh, quite overgrown now, if you can't tell. But it looks like the deer are still hanging out here. Still loving this place. Hopefully it's not too overgrown that we ac can actually see things on the camera. But, uh, all right, here's a cam. So. We're going to check this out, take this SD card, replace it with another one, and we'll be back in action. Well, our batteries are actually dead, so I'm just going to pull this card. I'm actually surprised for how long they did last. I'm curious to see what date this goes up to, but those batteries have been in that trail camera since January, and it's been up this whole time. So, can't complain, but I don't have any batteries with me, so next time I'll have to come up and just replace the batteries. Okay, trail cam. Number two. Right here. That looks great. A little branch grown up in the way. I probably got a ton of pictures of that branch blowing in the wind. Um, is this one dead? Let's see. Yep. Yep, this one's dead too. So we'll just pull that card. this up and then we'll be back probably in a week or two and put new batteries in all these. Come on. All right, we'll see you at the cabin. It's from a hawk. Okay, we're here, everything's opened up. Let me show you guys around, show you the inside. So this is it. It's a small space, the whole cabin's eight by 16. I built it to be very utilitarian. Get on the dog, come on bud. I really didn't do anything fancy. Um, I built it fast, I built it on a budget, between everything here, outhouse, and everything you see inside, I spent under $2,000 on everything. Um, it was all hand done. Everything you see in here was carried down the hillside by hand. There's no vehicle access to this place. And that was kind of the point of it for me. Uh, I wanted it to be remote. I wanted it to be secluded. 
when I'm out here, I don't want to see or hear anybody. That was kind of the point. But I guess I'll, I'll go through some things. I'll show you what I did. The view never gets old looking at this. The sun sets right about there. Two bunk beds, one down here. This is the one I use the most. I have another one up here. Same exact thing, same mattress. Um, I put in two shelves, just something simple for storage. Everything I snack on, everything I use to cook with, all my plates, it's all right there. This is how I wash dishes and use the sink. This is just a five gallon bucket, PVC plumbing. That drains in the sink and it drains right down to the bottom into another five gallon bucket. Eventually, I'm gonna do a 12 volt pump on an actual faucet from the rainwater catchment, but that's all still in the works. Um, the sink and cabinets, that's just a cheap IKEA sink pan. And then this wood I actually milled from a tree right over there. The same as this little breakfast nook countertop. All from lumber on the site. Here's the wood stove. It does its job well. It really keeps it warm in here. It can be zero degrees outside and it will keep it 70 degrees in here with just a small fire and it will last all night. So couldn't hope for anything more. For the solar, all of my solar is down here. I got a 110 amp hour battery, a small inverter, small fuse panel, and then that's my solar solar charger controller. Maybe you can see now, it's fully charged, 13.8 volts. That's all powered by 100 watt solar panel on the roof. It does really good for what I use it for. Um, everything on the solar, I have two light switches here. One is for the inside light. And then if we walk out here, we have an outside light. I have exhaust fan up here, switches down here. If you can hear me over it, that makes it really nice when it's hot in here and I want to pull the hot air out. I just have this little fan right here. Blow some air on me when I'm sleeping and it's kind of warm in here. And then there's another light in the outhouse that you'll see in a second. Okay, so this is the outhouse. Small little setup, portable toilet. We also have a light in here. That's about it. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the quick tour. If there's anything you wanna know more about, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll share any information that you wanna know. There's no secrets here. Yeah, okay. But we're gonna take you down to the spring real quick. I'm gonna show you my uh, water system. And then we're going to get out of here for the day. It's hot. We just had to come grab a few things. So I hope you guys can hear that. That's probably my biggest issue out here, is I have a lot of big predators. Um, honestly, I, I've never heard coyotes howl like that midday. That's first. So if you stick around with the channel, we're gonna be doing a lot of hunting and trapping for them this winter. There's too many and too big of dogs. We have three different coyote species, four canine species. We have fox, two smaller canine spe coyote species, and then we have a bigger koi wolf species that runs around. And the koi wolves are about 60 pounds. They look like German shepherds. So, yeah, stick around for the winter time. We're gonna get a few of them. Okay, we are out of here. We're gonna loop around down the valley and take a uh, long way out. I'm gonna show you guys the spring on the way out of here. But I'm not gonna film this because our trail's a little overgrown. <laughs> I haven't used this trail all summer. So we'll see you there. I almost walked right into that guy. Not cool.
excuse me, dude. Okay, so it's a little overgrown down here. Fortunately, at this point, I would not drink that. But it's an easy problem to fix. Things like this happen. We're just going to reconnect this and fill her on up. Okay, well that sucks, but it is what it is. These kind of things happen when you're not around for months at a time. Um, I'm just gonna head, pull all the water out of here, let it drain, and let it fill back up, and ne next time I'm out here, I'll have to flush it all. But, as you can see, it's the driest part of the year right now, and there's still water flowing. It might not be much, but it's something. All right, we're in the shade. All right, guys. So hopefully we made the most of a short trip, short video. We're getting the hell out of here. It's 100 degrees today. It is brutal. You can't tell by looking at me. It's rough. So we're gonna get out of here. We got what we need. We get that. We got the SD cards from the trail cameras. If there's anything exciting on them, I'll post the pictures on the outro. Until next time, Huggy Bear. Peace.